I am going to be showing you the difference that light fixtures and fittings can make to your property. And I'm going to be giving you my Haley's Help top tips on cleaning your light fixtures and fittings. Before we get into the video, while you are here, don't forget to click on the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. We have lots of cleaning and homemaking content here on the Haley's Help channel. So if you are looking for that type of content, then you have found the right place. Also, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash the like button. It really does help our channel. And with that said, let's press on into today's vlog. If you are wanting to update your light fixtures, I recommend checking Value Lights. They do a variety of styles and lighting options and after browsing their website, my order arrived in perfect condition and time. Luna seemed to like them too. For updating my sockets, I discovered a company called Socket Store. They had every light switch and socket I needed to replace my existing ones. I opted for the black and gold options, but there are lots of other options available too. If you're confident to do so, installing the new lights and sockets can be achieved as a DIY project. However, always lean on a professional to install if you are in any doubt. Replacing my lights from valuelights.co.uk dramatically changed the look and feel within my home and being able to add matching side lamps, floor lamps and shades really adds the continuity to the feel of your home. sockets again were very easy to install and really do add the finishing touch to my kitchen theme. With light bulbs, fixtures, plug sockets and switches generally being forgotten about on a weekly cleaning to-do list, here are some of my best ways to keep them clean. Let's start with light bulbs. When we don't clean our light bulbs, it can actually cause the brightness of the light bulb to fall by up to 20%. Not only can cleaning our light bulbs make a room feel brighter, it can also save us money on our electricity bill. The first thing you need to do when cleaning your light bulbs is safety first. Make sure that all the lights are switched off and the bulb that you are about to clean is completely cooled down before commencing. Depending on what bulbs you have, there will be a different process. So let's first start with halogen bulbs. Don't touch halogen bulbs with your bare fingers as the oils can cause the bulb to bust prematurely. Ideally, you need to use a lint-free glove or you can go ahead and use lint-free cloths to handle them. You're gonna wipe them down with a dry cloth, but if they are very grimy, the kitchen ones in particular can be, you can go ahead and use a small amount of rubbing alcohol and then buff them dry. Next up, let's move on to our standard bulbs. Again, with these we need to use a lint-free cloth to dust both the glass and the metal parts of the bulb. We want to avoid using water. This can get into the electric work and cause problems for us and we also do not want to be using any cleaning sprays or liquids as this too can damage the bulb. Let's now move on to our fixtures. If you have glass fixtures, so these will be like, you might have a glass chandelier or you might have the like intricate glass detailed lampshades. These can be removed and they can be washed in your sink with some dish soap. Once you've washed them, make sure that you go ahead and dry them and ideally you wanna be using a glass cleaning cloth to dry them with. I'm gonna link the glass cleaning cloths in this video in the description box. The reason I encourage people, if you do anything today, purchase just one glass cleaning cloth. It will change your life in your home. These work very, very well when it comes to drying off and getting a nice streak-free shine on mirrors, glass, 
windows. I use them on my fridge as well, high gloss. They are an all round up dream. Just make sure that when you wash them, you are not washing them. Fabric softener. For paper, fabric and silk light fixtures, you want to be using the dust attachment on your vacuum where possible. This works really well at pulling any of the dust off the light fixture and you're gonna get the best results doing it this way. Just make sure that you are using a gentle setting so that you don't damage the light fixture and also make sure that you have the bristles out on your dust attachment. Don't have it so that it's just the hard bit because it's too hard to go over these type of materials. So make sure it's the bristled brush dust attachment that you are using. Plastic casing or metal light fixtures can be washed with soapy water, but you must ensure with the metal in particular that you dry, dry, dry. If it stays wet for too long, it can begin to rust and that is not what we want. If you have a particularly dirty light fixture and it isn't paper, fabric or silk, you can use dishwasher detergent. Dishwasher detergent is actually very concentrated and it will tackle grease and grime buildup exceptionally well. You'll most likely want to use this method on kitchen lights that do not get regularly cleaned. Some lights are really difficult to get to, so it might be that once a year, someone comes over and helps you to get the light fixture down and you give them a soak in your dishwasher detergent. You just need to leave it soaking for at least 30 minutes to an hour. And generally, the detergent, where it is so concentrated, it does the work for you. Clean smarter, not harder. It should remove most of the grease and grime that has built up on your light fixture. If it doesn't, all you need to do is with a soft cloth, give it a little scrub and it will break down the oils and dirt. Once you've done this, rinse thoroughly with cool water and once you've removed it and rinsed it, make sure you dry it off with our glass cleaning cloth. When it comes to our light switches and plug sockets, these are high traffic areas. So we want to be looking at doing the C before D method. This is clean first, disinfect afterwards, particularly when you are dealing with the kitchen. Grease and grime can build up on these switches and you want to remove the grease and grime before you then go in with the disinfectant for the disinfectant to work to its full potential. We never want to be saturating a light switch or a plug socket. So the best thing to do here is wrap a cloth around your index finger and you are going to dip it in a small amount of dish soap. This is the cleaning phase. Once we have cleaned that, we're then gonna do exactly the same on a separate cloth with our disinfectant. Once you have then done that, you are then going to, once again, grab our hero of the hour. It is our glass cleaning cloth and we are going to buff it dry. Make sure every single socket that you do, it is fully dry and make sure that you are never ever spraying anything directly onto your light switches or your plug sockets. It's really dangerous and also make sure that they are switched off before you begin this process. today's video guys I hope you enjoyed it I will be back again next time with some more cleaning content and until then team as always keep it clean bye guys